We have to talk. We have to talk about honor and why honor eventually might take a big role here in Europe, a big cake of the smartphone market and maybe even beyond the smartphone market in the next couple of years. And this might be a very interesting topic. So if you're interested in honor and its future, then stay with me for this little talk video and let's get started. So honor. Honor is on a good way here in Europe and let me explain you why they might take over certain parts of or yeah, larger parts of the industry here, uh, smartphone industry in Europe and especially also in Germany. First of all, let's talk about the situation two years ago when the first Honor phone launched. I'm by the way recording with the first Honor phone, the first Honor phone that they launched independently from Huawei, the Honor 50. Of course, the design language and so on is very, very similar to what Huawei has to offer. This is the Magic 3 Pro Plus. This is a Magic 4 Ultimate. Very cool and good devices. And what they launched now is the the Magic 5 Pro, which is also a very, very good device in the same kind of language of design, which is very interesting, unlike uh, other manufacturers, Xiaomi, for example, that change their designers every year, they are sticking to a design. And the design is very familiar for Huawei users, which is a good point for all those who have like, or had two years ago, still a Huawei P30 or Mate 20 and want to switch now that their batteries are getting a bit older and they are thinking about switching either the battery or the switching to a new phone and they're searching for alternatives and they're basically only three big brands uh, out here especially in Germany but three big brands out there right now that you can rely on and this is first of all for Huawei users from their perspective Honor as number one because it's the most familiar kind of look and feel software and hardware wise the second one would be Xiaomi which is very very close in certain aspects but like I said with the design for example it's like one year this, another year completely different and software experience is not so great in certain aspects. And then there's Google with their Pixel devices. Why I'm not um, yeah, counting Oppo, Realme, Vivo, uh, OnePlus? Because they are in a kind of limbo state right now. You can still buy it in Europe, but for example in Germany they are banned not really banned, they're just simply, it's not allowed for them to, to market or sell their products because of a lawsuit going on with Nokia. Nokia basically has some patents that uh, the BBK company, and this includes Oppo, OnePlus, Vivo, Realme, and so on, um, did not agree on paying. And so the first kind of thing that Nokia did was like, we stop uh, now the selling of uh, all those phones. They went to the court. The court said, yes, that's true. It has to be proved. And until proven, all the sales of those phones are um, forbidden. So the sales of those phones for the company itself is forbidden. Of course, you can, because it's Europe, import them from other countries around Europe um, and around Germany in Europe, uh, which is uh, possible. And I think also other um other markets, uh, other shops are able to sell those phones like Amazon. You can find on Amazon definitely some Oppo devices or Realme devices for sure that are imported from another country, for example. But this is not the important thing. The important thing, this is a limbo state because if the final court rule will say, yeah, it is correct that the BBK company or the, yeah, the BB consortium of BBK or however you call it has to pay the license fees. Otherwise, they are disallowed to sell stuff this would be not only a court rule that will apply to Germany, it would be a court rule that very simply and quickly will apply to whole Europe and then they are gone from the European market. And I'm pretty sure that BBK company does not want to do this. So I'm also very, very sure that they probably will then find a solution and will pay, I hope at least, because their devices are nice and good. And my cable just fell out here. The thing is that I just keep on talking. Yeah, don't mind me putting the cable back in where it belongs. Um, the thing is that with the with this honor has a big, big chance because now the 
competition who will take the big cake from Huawei as the Huawei devices are getting less and less users or less and less attractive because of the lack of Google services is um, yeah getting to more which one is a reliable company and I think Honor has now a big chance to be this reliable company and we talk about the these very high class devices Magic 3 Pro Plus Magic 4 Ultimate that now got a successor the Magic 5 Pro and really can say it's a successor because they're taking basically the main components from this camera hardware design that was more advanced than the Magic 4 Pro still on the Magic 4 Ultimate and putting it into the Pro version so the Magic 5 Pro against the Magic 5 Ultimate in terms of cameras doesn't have any difference. So we have the same very high class almost one inch type sensor camera, the same kind of software that is optimizing everything there, which is very, very cool. So we get basically the Magic 5, uh, the Magic 4 Ultimate as the Magic 5 Pro this year with better hardware uh, in terms of software, uh, in terms of uh, CPU and in terms of GPU, in terms of battery. There's some slight downgrades, like the charging speed is 66 watt instead of 100 watts. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. And then um, we have also a difference in terms of um, uh, fingerprint reader. This is an ultrasonic fingerprint reader on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The Magic 5 Ultimate will still have it, but the Magic uh, 5 Pro will have an optical one. Um, it's not a big deal. Also the glass that they have the new protector on the Magic 5 Ultimate, it's not a big deal. So we will get the Magic 4 Ultimate's very high class camera system. Almost, I think there's a difference in the in the telezoom lens, a telezoom sensor that might be also a slight downgrade, but the main camera sensor, and this is the main thing, it, it's getting down in price and you get basically the Magic 4 Ultimate for a lesser price as the Magic 5 Pro. And I think this is a very, very good step for Honor for the high class devices. And when it comes to mid-range devices, Honor showed already, this is the, uh, the Honor 50 that I'm recording with, this is the Honor 70 here, this is a successor of the Honor 50. It's a marginal upgrade, some people would say, but in the camera department, it's a big, big, huge update because we have the IMX 800 sensor here, a very good sensor, main sensor, and we have a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle macro shots possible. You don't need to rely on a special macro camera for this. Very, very good here, the upgrade. Um, the only th slight thing that I have to do is like add another speaker here and we have a perfect mid-range device, especially for vlogging. Of course, I'm expecting a um, better Snapdragon processor here, maybe the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 if it is a bit faster or even I'm probably the 8 Plus Gen 1 or something like this from last year, put it in for the on a 80, I think is already out on a 90 or something like this. And uh, or sell it the Honor 80 here as well with this processor. And we have a perfect mid-range device as well. But they showed already that they can also do mid-range devices and I really, really like their uh, devices. And I think they have the chance to really take over those big um, yeah, Huawei switches that want to switch now from their old P30 or Mate 20 series. And uh, the only thing that Honor has to take, take care of is software updates because the Magic 4 Pro, the global version, was not very well received in terms of software updates. The Magic 4 Ultimate that I have here, the Chinese version, especially also the Magic 3 Pro Plus, got regular security and software updates that really made fun and are fixing stuff. And I hope they can take this polish that they're doing already for the Chinese market and the Chinese devices also for the global market and put some more polish in for the Magic 5 Pro, especially as they are now raising the um, 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 update uh, guarantee to five years, I think, and uh, three major Android upgrades, which is also very, very nice, I would say. So there is a big chance for Honor to take over this big cake from Huawei. What do you think? Write it down in the comments. That's everything for this little talk video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.